VietnamTheWorldTour.com. It's a project that we've been doing for about a year and a half now. I describe it as a rogue nation rebranding project. And historically, Vietnam has been probably one of the most mediated nations out there and mediated by a very U.S. kind of media machine, U.S. journalism like Hollywood. The challenge that we set for ourselves was how to kind of challenge that history of mediation. So <clears throat> what we've done is we've started working with really well-known graffiti artists and hip-hop dancers. Um, and we would raise money through different brands, actually, to get them to different places in the world. They would do performances. Um, they would <clears throat> paint murals and, and tag the name of the project on those murals. So basically what they're doing is they're going around and writing Vietnam everywhere. But now the, the term Vietnam is not associated with, with war and death and destruction and communism. It's associated with these brand ambassadors, what we call brand ambassadors, kind of taking that term from marketing and advertising. Um, so just as like Nike used Michael Jordan to like promote uh, Air Jordans in the 80s and 90s, <clears throat> we're using um, Tony Transformer, Tyke Witness of MSK, L Mac. What we're doing is we're making these videos of them and we're posting them on YouTube. Like every time Tony Transformer posts a video, he'll get like, within two days, he'll get like a million hits. Um, now he's got a million hits, but it's been, re it's, it comes along with the branding that we've created for Vietnam. So now when you kind of want to know about a certain history, you go on to Google and you type in something. Now what if, maybe a year or two down the line, <clears throat> we have so much media out there that have come from Vietnam the World Tour. And when people click on Vietnam, they see Tony Transformer doing like pop locking in Paris. How does that kind of interject and kind of um, disrupt this like the power of that archive? That historical archive and I think that's what we were interested in taking strategies from uh, the YouTube generation strategies from <clears throat> MTV strategies from graffiti and graffiti culture <coughs> to rebrand this icon of a nation called Vietnam